Well, guys, this morning I woke up to some unexpected snow. Like, it, it doesn't snow much, but it's going to stay cold for the next couple of days. So, we got to clear the snow. We got to find some way to clear the snow. And, dude, it's roller cold customs. We literally have insane, powerful trucks. All I got to do is somehow get a plow on one of these trucks to clear the snow. Also, okay, so I wasn't really prepared for this, though. So, I don't even have a plow. I don't have, like, really anything. But we do have the 6R, which we use for mowing. Um... And so I have this, and I'm thinking about throwing a front PTO on her and getting a snowblower for the front of this. This would be perfect for the winter once it comes and stuff because we're going to need to clear snow. I'm thinking that's going to be the way we're going, but I do have something special. I do have something special. We have we have pumpkin. Pumpkin is what I'm naming her. Pumpkin is what I'm naming her. I'm thinking just because it's, it's orange. It's the house far enough, guys. Um, and so I got the loader on it too, which we got. I don't know why. I wanted to really clear snow with this. So... We have the Osvarna, and she's in here. Now, I got the I got the loader on here. We still got the deck on her. I should probably take the deck off. I don't know if I... Can I detach the deck? That'd be kind of cool if I could. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I can't. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to. But I was hoping I could. Actually, lower mower unit. I don't want to lower it. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Maybe we could... Oh, If it was... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to remove the deck. I thought for some reason you might be able to, but we got Pumpkin here. Pumpkin's a cute little name for this Husqvarna here, and we'll close the door. Okay, the thing is, here, let me, I'm just letting her warm up, basically. She's gas, so she warms up fine, but it's literally, we, it's called Rolling Coal Customs, which means we have, all, we have pretty much all diesel trucks. It's going to be tough to get these babies started. I guess it's only 30, 27 degrees out, so it's not too bad. I think they'll start right up, but... Hopefully they do. We'll see how the new Cummins does. The new Cummins we left outside. I probably should have prepared for this. We probably should have had it in the heated shed. Oh, we'll start her up. We'll see how she does, I guess. Oh, okay. She's a little cold. You know what? We're probably going to have a couple... We're probably going to have a couple uh, gelled up trucks that we got to go repair and stuff. So I got to get that service truck started up. Oh, you guys hear her go. You guys heard her go. She wanted to go. Oh, there we go, man. We got her. We got her to go. Dude, that's cool. So, guys, okay, to be honest, I should probably, you guys obviously know what I'm doing. I'm just, I have the manual start, and I just wait at the last second before it's about to start up, and then I, I shut it down quick. And it sounds pretty cool. It's like a cool cold start. Maybe some of you guys are like, squad, I wish you wouldn't have told me that, man. But that's what I'm kind of doing, just to be honest with you guys. But it sounds cool when you're, when you're doing cold start. I love cold starts. They're the coolest thing ever. We need cold starts in Farming Simulator. We need them. But, okay, we got to let the truck warm up. Now, here, we have... Did we say this was the Eco Diesel? I don't think this is the Eco Diesel, our, fi our Ram 1500. I never thought it was the Eco Diesel. I think it was the Hemi. Does it say Hemi anywhere? It does say Hemi. So, we can... It, it's a gas. So, you know, she's going to start up pretty easy. And she started up. Okay, we'll let the trucks warm up. Now, the Duramax, man. Will the Duramax start up? The new 2019 Duramax. We're probably going to need the service trucks uh, to go help out some guys with some gelled up trucks. But, here we go. We'll get the Duramax ready to go. Oh, here we go. This one. Nope. This one. Here we go. There she goes. Okay, we'll let the Duramax warm up, dude. There we go. So, these trucks in here, everything's good to go in here. I'll show you guys. I guess all of our stuff. Now, you guys did see it's... Yeah, there's snow in here. I don't know how snow got in here, but there's snow in here. So, okay, shoot. Can I get in here? Oh, it's going to be tough. But we still have... Okay, oh, speaking of the drag car, I gotta kind of show you guys this. Um, here, let me just open up this. So, everybody said... Man, these trucks are loud. But everybody said that this uh, Big Daddy is actually, like, something in real life. And I apologize, a lot of... Some of you guys got mad at me because I don't know enough about... I gotta update uh, four apps. But anyways, some of you guys got mad at me because I don't know enough about drag race and stuff. I agree, I don't, I don't. Some guy was like, Squad, it's disrespectful that you don't know enough about Big Daddy. I'm like, oh, man, I apologize. I apologize. So, um, but we're going to definitely do some stuff with this. We're going to have some races. I'm thinking of maybe racing Spencer TV with this. Right now, we kind of have it on the trailer, and we need to get it its own little spot in the shop. The shop's just getting crazy in here, to be honest. You know what? Maybe I could put it, if I put it, I could probably put it right along here. We just gotta, I just gotta move some stuff around and get some stuff organized. This dude needs to come back and get his F-350, man, that we rebuilt for him. And he's gotta come and get his razors, too, that are falling off the trailer. So, I think what I'm gonna do is plow with Pumpkin for a little bit. Then get the 6R, put a snowblower on her. 
then try to get a plow for a truck so we can get prepared for more snow and then maybe rip the razor some diesel trucks i'm thinking and the snowmobile i feel like we gotta rip the snowmobile so that's the plan right now i'm gonna move i'm gonna get stuff moved basically we'll get for some reason my game man my game's lacking a little bit it's weird okay we'll get the chevy and i think i'm gonna put the chevy away basically we've let her warmed up a little bit just a little bit all we gotta do is put her inside here uh okay we gotta open the garage real quick there we go you know what we should actually do a series where we get some calls and go help people with uh gel up trucks i still have yet to get anybody on here for multiplayer guys still have yet to get literally anybody i need to get somebody on here wow i'm not too fat to get fit through this been eating a little too much this winter been bulking a little too much oh come on man get through here oh we can't okay we gotta open the door <laughs> we can't fit through our own doors anymore. I'm gonna open the big door, the car door. There we go. So service trucks gonna go inside. You know what? And I'm just gonna put those other trucks inside while I'm at it too. I'm gonna put them over in the storage shed over here. There we go. Okay. For some reason, I can hear those trucks idling still. It's it. We're a ways away too. I think that's the Cummins over there. I guess you know what? I could put them in that shop too. But for now, we're gonna put them in storage. We probably don't. We probably don't use these too much. I should probably sell some of these, I'm thinking, too. We should probably sell some of these, but this is the new Cummins, guys. We don't know for sure if it's going to be the new Dodge Cummins, but this is kind of an idea that a guy had sent me, so it, it still looks pretty neat and stuff. We have no idea if, if the new uh, 2500, Dodge 2500, is going to look like this. You know what? Today, I saw a Dodge 1500 on the street, and, you know, I kind of I kind of have a good eye out for cars. I'm sure a lot of you guys do, too, but I have a good eye out for cars, and... I saw the the Dodge by good eye. I mean, like I can see, I can tell what a car is from mile, like not miles and miles away, but from a long distance away. And I saw it from a long distance away, and I was like, "What is that, man? What is that?" Because the lights were different on the new Ram 1500. And I was like, "Man, what is that truck and stuff?" And finally, once it hit me, it was a uh, Ram 1500. And I was like, "Oh, that's right, dude." The, and then I had to keep looking back while I was passing it and stuff. I was like, "Dang, those Rams look pretty nice." So. Um, yeah, it was like all blacked out, lifted, black rims and stuff. You guys know I don't really like tons of mods and stuff on truck, but it did. I gotta be honest, it looked pretty nice when I saw it. Okay, we'll take the ram, put her away. Dude, our storage over here. <laughs> Roll cool custom storage over here is, oh man, it's, uh, we gotta organize. We gotta organize a little bit. There we go, dude. I wonder if the dually can make it through, uh, some snow. It's pretty lower, dude. Hey, we could use that as a plow. That's what we should do. So I'm thinking some of these trucks have to have plows on them. I'm really curious now. Does, okay, we gotta get plowing, but sorry, everybody's like, squad, you talk so much at the beginning, man. Stop talking so much, get to work. Get your butt to work, squad. So we gotta get, uh, one thing is I need to get a truck with a plow. I Like I literally hope one of these trucks has a plow on the front of it. They got to. I, I was thinking for sure this Chevy would. Service hauler, it might not, to be honest. I'm just looking through it, just seeing if there's a plow. I don't think there is, but one of these trucks has to have a plow on it. This, would this have a plow? Design, seed, oh, seed package? Oh, let's check it. I'm actually really curious to see what the, okay, we gotta check that out. Cause don't tell me it has a flatbed on it. That'd be pretty sweet. You know what? This is Nomad Wolf's and I bet it has a plow mount. Plow, please have a plow. There's so much stuff to this. Bull bar, tire, rim, step, antennas, triggers, gate badges, toolbox, mirrors, toolbox, attachers. Wow. I don't think this has a plow either. I know, okay, F-150. F-150 might not even have a plow either. I thought for sure the F-150 would. Well, let me keep looking, guys. We might not have a truck that has a plow mount on it. Does wheel set up toolbox bumper? I don't know if this truck has a plow mount either. Does the F450? Man, front bumper. Plow? Nope. No plow on that either. Okay. The, I knew this truck did, so I did add this truck in for backup. But this should uh, obviously somewhere have a plow on it. Um, Plow mount. Okay, so we can get a plow if I buy the F-350, which that's the F-350 we have in our farming map, actually. Okay, I'm going to shut this. So we'll see if we need we'll see if we need a plow. I'm going to get plowing with that uh, Husqvarna over there. 
and then we'll keep going. I'd love to get a plow on that F or F450 Platinum right here. That'd be nice to get a plow on that. Then we got all of my trailers back here yet, too. And then I'm thinking we'll get a snowblower. Man, we're already 10 minutes in the video, and I haven't done any plowing. I, I apologize about that, guys. Man, I need to... Okay, the Osborne, she's ready to rock and roll. Pumpkin, I should say. Pumpkin is ready. Okay, this might take a while to get all this plowed with Pumpkin, but I feel like this would be kind of fun to have a little garden tractor that we could plow with. And you can see where the... Uh, I have the F450 sitting outside, and you can see where it was, and I have the trailer sitting outside, too. <laughs> there we go. Uh, see, right now I'm not using my Xbox controller, so it's a little easier to operate the loader when I'm not using my Xbox controller. For now, we're just going to kind of clear right in front of the shed, just some tight corners, and then eventually get the snowblower. I feel like if we have the snowblower or plow, it will work a ton better. There we go. And maybe I could mount a plow to the 6R, to the front of the tractor. That might be... That might work too, I guess. There we go. So we'll kind of plow on here. I know it's going to get tight with the snowblower in here, so I'll just kind of get this stuff done. Man, we kind of just dumped it there on the... Ah, we're good. <laughs> it's fun running this thing. Okay, we'll drop her down keep going. Okay, I'm going to run the clock a little bit so it's a little sunnier out. There we go. Perfect. Keep going with this baby. I need to try the... You know what? I'm going to try the Xbox controller real quick and just see how hard it is to plow. Oh, okay, we got... Okay, never mind, I got... Okay, how hard is this to plow here? Not bad. Oh, don't tell me we get stuck. Don't tell me we get stuck. Oh, this might be tough. Oh, shoot. I went flying over. Okay, I think I can get out of here with the loader, though. If I do it right, I should be able to get out of here. Oh, I gotta press reverse at the same time. There we go, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I gotta rotate up the loader. Gotta, I don't want to get stuck again. Gotta dump this stuff. It's weird using an Xbox controller, guys. It is. <laughs> there we go. So we'll get this done just kind of in front of here. And I'll go around all the other buildings and do it with the... Those far and just get these spots right here. Okay, I don't want to... I want to be able to steer. So I got to kind of let my front wheel, wheels actually grip. There we go. But then again, you want to get the bottom of it, too. You want to get down to the bottom. Shoot. Oh, I keep hitting the... There we go. Perfect. Look at that. There we go. Okay, we got to... Oh, it's tough to get your loader perfect here. There we go. Okay, we can actually steer this time. We're grabbing it. And you know what? We're only going to be 50% full towards the end. I could probably... I probably don't even have to dump it here, technically. There we go. You know what? With an Xbox controller, it's not bad. I kind of like it better, even. <laughs> this is cool. This is smooth. Everything's nice about this. Dude, I, we still got so much to do. We got to get out the snowmobiles yet. Dude, if you guys are excited for... I'm super pumped for winter. And actually, I was talking to Owen, and we need to... I was thinking about changing... I guess fall's not even truly here. I mean, fall's kind of here, but we're just at the beginning of fall right now. We're already getting to winter things, but... Uh, I was thinking about cha changing our channel art and logo kind of to be orange and pumpkin-y and pumpkin, uh, and like October type of themed is what I may do with our like channel art and, uh, the squad logo, just to kind of change it to orange and stuff. Owen kind of gave me that idea there. Sorry. There we go. We got a big pile here too. There we go. Okay, I think we're pretty much cleared for this. Dude, honestly, I could probably, if I really wanted to, I could probably clear this whole thing with Osvarna. Does an amazing job. There we go. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed the plan vids, let me know. Smash that like button. I know, I think it's Gatekeepers. Gatekeepers always, uh, he always, uh, tells everybody, like, smash that like button and says crazy stuff. So thank you, Gatekeepers. He's always in the comment section. There we go. Perfect. Dumped out of there. I'm starting to get these controls down a little bit, guys. There we go. Okay, I'm thinking one more pass here, and then we'll go clean up some other areas. Dude, as a kid, I've told you guys this so many times. As a kid, I always won, like, a little garden tractor or, you know, snowblower to clear clear a driveway. We always had to use shovels, which, nothing wrong with shovels, right? But uh, it was always, I don't know, I always I always thought it was the coolest thing ever, having, like, a little garden tractor or, or snowblower to clear the driveway. There we go. Oh. We'll dump her. 
Perfect. Okay, this is good enough. I just basically you want to clear in front of the shed and stuff so you don't have to get in front of the shop, I should say. So you don't have to get um the snowblower up close and stuff. I don't want to hit anything. There we go. Okay, we need to get okay, we'll we'll head over here, get this shop. And actually, okay, here, story time. One time we were clearing snow and there was gonna or there's gonna be a big snowstorm, and so we have a property outside of town and we have a house we live inside of town. It was kinda like probably five years ago or something. And we had a four-wheeler at the time, the Honda Rubicon, and had a plow on it. So I was like, Dad, there's going to be a big storm. Can we bring the four-wheeler back to the house and stuff? And he was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, sure. That'll be an awesome idea and stuff. So we have a lot of snow. We can help out the neighbors and stuff. So we loaded it up in the truck, brought her back and stuff. And then we didn't end up getting that much snow. And my dad went out and did it, like, early in the morning when after it snowed before, before school, before I even, like, woke up. He never told me and stuff. And then I just... I hear the loudest scream ever, him saying tons of curse words and stuff, and he ended up, we kind of have a small driveway, I guess, but he ended up backing into my mom's car with a four-wheeler. He thought it was in drive, and it was really in reverse, and he was right up next to the garage, and he hit the throttle, and it backed up right into my mom's car, caused $500 worth of damage. It was insane. And so, uh, we don't bring the four-wheeler anymore uh, over to the house. We literally did it one time, and he backed up into my mom's car, so it was, uh, it was pretty bad. And it was all my fault, of course, because it was my idea to bring the four-wheeler, even though I wasn't the one to back into it. But uh, I was in the, I was literally sleeping. But um, anyways, it was kind of it was kind of funny. Still doesn't like to talk about it much, but okay, we're gonna get uh, keep clearing around here. I think I'll do like two or three passes right here. It's kind of cool though how we have this Osvarna garden, garden tractor. And you know what, guys? Since FS19 has been coming out, I've been thinking of maybe starting like a. Uh, uh, like a mod group modding group or something to where I kind of give them money each month and we make mods and stuff and release them to the public and do uh and also convert mods from FS17 to FS19 for everybody to use there we go I feel like that but there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in those modding groups so I don't know if I want to I want to get into that <sighs> okay we'll drop her on the ground okay this is I think the last pass for over here we got to clean up some sidewalks yet too there we go. Dude, if I was a kid and I had one of these, man, I feel like I would start a crazy big uh, snow removal business between all the neighbors when I was younger. There we go. Okay. For now, the spawn is going to be done. I'm going to go get... Okay, we need, either need a plow or we need a snowblower. I don't know what one to get. But for now... Okay, for now, I kind of want to get a snowblower. Snowblower will be sweet. It would be kind of cool to get a plow, I guess. Maybe we should get a plow. Ah, that would be awesome to get a plow, actually. Okay, let's get a snowblower and a plow for the shop. <laughs> okay, we can start our own plowing business here, guys. We can do everything. Perfect. We'll take those Varna back. Just park her in the shop for now. Okay, you know what? We need to clear this shop out because this is bad. It's actually perfect. We have a little garden tractor that could get in here and clear the shop out. Okay, so I'll buy the F-350 just kind of for fun a little bit to have around here. Maybe we'll buy the snowblower. It's not really too much snow, to be honest. I think we'll just buy the F-350 for now. But everybody's like, squad, stop getting forward, stop getting forward, man. So maybe I shouldn't buy the F-350. I need a Chevy plow truck is what I need. Okay, anyways, here we go. Here we go. We're going to buy the Ford quick. Oh, it's definitely not in tractors, trucks. It's definitely not in trucks over there. And then I should have a plow with it. So even though, like, a dually does not make sense at all, I'm still going to get a dually. <laughs> I kind of want a dually <laughs> just because we haven't used this truck in a dually. Um, stock. I don't want it to have crazy power. Definitely not. What color should we get? Should we get black? Should we get white? Let's go orange to match pumpkin. It'll work perfect. Head of crack. Yeah, this can be kind of work truck. Toolbox. Heck yeah. Let's get toolbox. Stock. Front bumper. Can we have a bumper? I don't think we can have a bumper with a plow mount. Actually, plow mount. There we go. Door wheels. Thinking that'll look sweet. There we go. I always kind of go with orange for my trucks. And then now the only thing we need is a plow. I think it's in levelers. No, definitely not in levelers. Where could this plow be? Winston mods? Nah, we got the limo in there. Um, Loaders. I bet it's in loaders somewhere. 7R. Oh, we could get a loader for the 6R too. That would have worked good too instead of using that small. But the Husqvarna was fun to use though. Then animals? It could be in skid loaders. It could be in cars to be honest. Oh, uh, is it in here? Nah, it's not in here. Okay. Where oh where could this uh this plow be? Skid loaders? Maybe skid loaders? Nope. 
Miscellaneous. I guess, we, yeah, oh yeah, we haven't checked miscellaneous. There we go. So this would be the snow blower I would get. And then here's our here's our snow plow. It'd be kind of cool to get the snow blower. Not going to lie. Maybe we should get that. But we'll jump, we'll tab over to the F350, jump on the F350 and start, uh, we'll get this cleared. And then maybe, maybe we'll get a snow blower. I have so many vehicles, so many trucks here. This is all uh, vehicles from the John Deere dealership. Wherever our F350 is. Okay, so we got the F350. You know what we need? We need a big V-plow. I've seen people get V-plows and farm similar. I'm sure I could get my hands on one. I just didn't get one for this video, I guess. And so I already lowered the volume because I know this F350 is just going to be insanely loud. And we got it. Okay, the orange color, to be honest, guys, it doesn't. I don't think it looks good. Doesn't look that good, to be honest. But uh, it looks like DOT orange in Iowa, at least here. It's like all DOT orange. Okay, so we'll hook up to the plow. I mean... Yeah, the Dooley version doesn't look that good, to be honest, guys. I don't I don't really like it. But anyways, plowing, like, you don't really want a Dooley when you're plowing either. And you know what's going to be sweet is if I use a controller for this, I think. We'll see. I got the toolbox in here. In the toolbox, you can actually uh, customize and repair vehicles if you pull the, like, the truck up next to one. There we go. We're attached. Okay, so I lower it. Oh, nice. Okay, you know what? This is going to work good with the controller. This, uh, this, <laughs> this is going to work good. Okay, so we'll head over here. I want to raise it all the way up, of course. <laughs> Should I plow the roadways? We could plow the roadways. Um, let me get on the main roadway, and then I'll kind of plow it. We'll see. There we go. Pushing still on the roadways. That's right. This blade is huge. I totally forgot. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. There we go. We're pushing. Okay, I don't want to push too quick. We just want to push at a slow pace. Oh, there we go, man. Look at that 350 go. Okay, once this starts getting full, though, I think it's going to leave some behind. It's definitely going to start leaving some behind here. Should probably slow down. Can I steer? I can steer still. Ah, it's leaving some behind. I got to go slower. I'm trigger happy. There we go. We're pushing. Come on, big dooley. This is where we need a V-plow, man. This is where we need a V-plow. Push, baby. Push, push, push. There we go. <laughs> this is pretty cool, to be honest. See, we were doing a good job, and then we started leaving some behind. He's pushing, though. There we go. I bet if I just went through this one more time, we'd be fine. There we go. Okay, we're gonna lift her up for now. I just was curious to see what this would do. Okay, well somehow I gotta, somehow I gotta be able to get out of here though. Um, can we cut across here? Oh man, I'm kind of plowing snow right now. <laughs> we're gonna get stuck. Oh shoot, we are plowing snow. There we go. I, I thought I lifted it up all the way, but there we go. Now we got it lifted up all the way. Okay. We're, and technically it's illegal and like most states and cities it's illegal to plow like roadways if you're not like a government vehicle or something like that or if you're not a DOT vehicle um are we on the road still I think we're on the road still okay here we go we'll plow our, this should be good I wonder if I can backtrack I don't know if I can backtrack but for now I gotta figure out where my driveway is I'm thinking my driveway starts right here I can't ah uh, there's grass right there you can see grass right there, so I'm thinking it starts probably right here. Are we on grass? Okay, there's there's the grass right there. You can see the grass right there. There we go. This is working good. I want to just push it all to the right side right now. Just kind of keep pushing through there. Come on, Ford. There we go. Turn, turn. Nice. There we go. I forgot where my grass is, where my grass goes, I guess. Okay, for now, we're, oh, shoot, we're plowing the grass. That's right. <laughs> shoot. There we go. We'll just push her all up here for now. Okay, I want to kind of pile it up. Oh, it doesn't go on that grass section over there. See, it won't, for some reason, that, oh, that grass section right there, it won't go on there. Okay, now I kind of got an idea of where our stuff's at. We're really flying in reverse right now. 
I don't want to plow any more grass, though. I got to make sure I don't plow any more grass. There we go. She's lowered down. Perfect. We'll just stay at this pace. And then I'm not going to try to plow that grass over there. I don't want to be plowing that. There we go. We'll start rotating the blade. Okay, where does this go after this? This is why I need those stakes in the driveway so I can see. Come on, keep pushing through here. Ah, we gotta keep turning. Darn it. What? Where is our driveway at? I know there's a driveway somewhere through here. Okay, we're gonna have to like push this all the way onto the road through here. I guess we'll take out the stop sign a little bit. Oh no, we took out the stop sign with the plow. There we go. We'll raise her up. Okay, we gotta kinda pull over this pile because it's still got some snow on her. So I don't know, does this connect? It may it may not connect through here. Kinda run over these piles and just destroying everything. There we go. I want to have this driveway clean, though. That's the thing. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. She's shaking. She's hopping. She's power hopping. There we go. Perfect. We'll back out of there. Okay, we need... I need to know where this cross is over. I think it's it's got to be, like, right here, I'm guessing. There should be, the driveway should push through here somewhere. I just don't know where. We'll push, we'll see. Okay, there we go, I can see it. Yep, it's right there. Okay, we'll push out to the street again. <laughs> this works good. Okay, we'll raise her up. There we go. It's tough to do it first person, I'm gonna be honest. It gets tough to do it first person, man. Perfect. Oh, shoot. We're going over the top of the pile. Dude, this is going to be a long plowing video. We still, I still got to get out the snowmobile yet. Okay, there we go. We'll drop her down. Perfect. Um, angler off to the side, kind of. Yeah, right there. There we go. Nice. Okay, hopefully this plow... Oh, it's going to start dropping stuff. Shoot. It only works good if you angle it off to the side. There we go. Dude, too bad you guys couldn't get these in Xbox and PS4, man. It would be awesome if you guys could just get these in Xbox and PS4. We'll push all the way up to the top. Push over the top. Oh, shoot. We're get Oh, dude, we took out another sign through there. Actually, no, that was the original sign. There we go. She's clearing her good. Okay. We need to now... Dude, we need to have a, a, plow, a plowing simulator. That's what we need to do. Somebody needs to make a plowing simulator someday. Okay, we'll start all the way from the back again, and then kind of work our way. You know what? Let me get this main shop area just cleared out of here for now. Kind of run over these big snow piles, and it's kind of spreading out the snow now. There we go, right there. See, it would be tough to get up right next to the building, so at least it's good we took those uh, Svarna through there. Perfect. Go up. There we go. That worked good. Okay, um, this stuff right here, ah, I don't know, it's going to be tough. we got to get those Varna in here to clear, th yeah, that stuff's, I guess I could kind of push it up to the side of the building over here. I don't know, it's going to be tough to put it right there. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to get those Varna out to kind of clear out that doorway now. Um, I guess we'll see how much room we have through here. Okay, that's grass. I don't even want to mess with that. Don't want to get in the grass. Okay, I gotta figure out where this all goes through here yet. We kind of made some good spots through here. I guess. Can we backdrag? You guys think we can backdrag at all? So backdragging is when you put the blade up here and then you just obviously backdrag like you said. Like I say. Okay. Ah, it's not gonna work. Darn. Okay, what we'll do is we'll just kind of we'll push through here. We should be able to push through here and I'll just angle it off to the side. <laughs> okay, now we got to kind of push up to the building. Oh, again, we're blocking the door. Shoot, we're to the end. There we go. That's working good. Too bad this, this map wasn't like seasons ready. It, see how the trees are still green and stuff? Usually, 
like a season's ready map, the trees will go bare and stuff. It's kind of cool when they do. I guess this is probably the old version too. There we go. We got most of it cleared. Oh, that's right. I can't do anything here because for some reason the spot on it. There we go. Now I can dump it out. Perfect. And those those snow lines right across here, you can't move them for some reason. Okay, there's a little bit right here. We'll clear. Kind of push this snow back here. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Pile her up. Perfect. F-350 is good. Okay. Yes. Oh, and so some guys said, they're like, squad, you need to get a new semi, man. Your semi is just like stuck up there. You really need to get a new semi or something because you need to, you need to do some hauling with your semi. So... We're probably going to have to get a new semi still. I kind of uh, sacrificed that one to go as the, the statue or the monument for Rolling Cold Customs. Um, okay, for now, I guess we got to clear the back a little bit. It's tough. I need those stakes out here. I really need those stakes out here to kind of guide me through here. But for now, okay, for now, I'm going to put that 350 away. We're going to keep doing more, but I'm going to get those far now because I, I, I like using it, to be honest. I'm going to clear some of these doorways. There we go, like the one that's blocking that door right there. I don't know why that F-350 is like glitching like that. There we go. We'll get in the Husqvarna. Start her up. She started up. Okay, I got to turn my volume up a little bit quick because I had to turn it down for the F-350. There we go. So all we got to do, dude, it's fun running this. The view, the first person view too is so nice here. Okay, pull around here. Clear out this doorway a little bit. We'll see if those Varna can get her done. There is a ton. Oh, shoot. There's a ton of snow here, too. Keep going. I think we're stuck on the sidewalk or something. We were stuck on... We were glitching out on something there. There we go. That's all we needed. We got a scoop. We got our 98%. I guess we need a little bit more yet. Uh, for now, I'll just put her up next to the building over here. There we go. And now we'll take one more scoop over here. Perfect. Ah, sorry guys. I'm, it's tough steering while I'm trying to do all, like, all this at once. Shoot. There we go. We should be good there. Perfect. We'll lift her up and then just make a bottle right over here. There we go. We're starting to get her cleared. I'm starting to get her cleared. I need to get the sides over there, though, a little more. Just if we can get that just a tad more, that'd be nice. Perfect. We're good to go. Okay, I need to get, yeah, over there. We need some We need some work over there. Dude, we need to get the sled out yet still, too. The snowmobile, the players rush, dude. Oh, I remember first getting these snowmobiles in Farm Sim. It was insane when we first got the snowmobiles. Coolest thing ever. We made a racetrack and stuff. We always used to make racetracks with everything we got. ATVs. No wheels. We always used to make those. There we go. For now, I'll shut her off. Okay. Snowmobile. Real quick. We'll let her rip for a little bit. We'll get the snow the sled out just for a little bit. There we go. The players rush. Jump on her. Okay, you know what? I should probably let her. Actually, it's a two-stroke. Two strokes. To, I mean, to be honest, you don't really have to warm up. The, the, the best way to warm them up is just by getting on them a little bit, to be honest. I'll let it warm up just for a little, just for a tad. There we go. And then we should be good. But yeah, seriously, four strokes, you want to let warm up and stuff. Two strokes, you just can get on them right away. Okay, there we go. We're good. Good enough, I guess. The full airs. I don't know if I upgrade this thing or not. You know what? Let's use a controller so that way it's steering smooth. <laughs> uh, it's kind of slow, to be honest, dude. She's, uh, she's a little slow. Should we go water skipping across the lake? We got enough speed. Oh no, 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 no. I thought it was gonna work out a little better. Never mind. Let's get some air with her. Just a little bit. <laughs> Dude, we are barely getting any air. We'll do a little trail riding through here. A little ditch riding, I guess. Even though these aren't ditches, these are kinda like I don't know. Just these side places over here. We'll see what she can what she can she can do for top speed. Can we hit 80 mile an hour? I don't know. It'd be sweet if we could. Dude, I need to get a couple other snowmobiles and have you guys come on here. I always say that. I'm always like, I need to have you guys come on here and stuff. But I have so many, I think I have a lot of private mods on here. It'd be tough to get everybody on here. That's the thing. I'd, I'd have to take out like a ton of the mods. Okay, we're going to cross the street quick. 
Head back to the shop. We're doing 45 mile an hour. This is probably one of the slowest snowmobiles I've ever seen, though. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, dude. Come on. Flip over. We're good. Never mind. We're good. We're cool. There we go. I'm telling you guys. Farming similar to 2019. I don't know what their, what their deal is, but, man, they need to get... We need to get, like, uh... Like, tons of customizable players and stuff. You need to be able to dress up as Santa Claus. You need to be able to wear, like, a... Somebody wear helmets and stuff. Wear, like, a snowmobile helmet. We need to have that stuff where we can mod stuff in like that. Imagine if we could, like, dress up for Halloween and stuff in Farming Simulator. That's... It, it seems so simple. Like, so many games have customization like that. Farming Simulator needs that. Like, you could all dress up as crazy different farmers. I feel like everybody... I guess I shouldn't say I feel because I, I don't know how you guys feel. But I, I feel... No, I... I would guess a lot of you guys would love to have that. Would love to have like customization where we can dress up as like, you know, a snowmobile or something if somebody modded that in the game. But for some reason, modders aren't able to even like mod it in the game. It's just not possible, I guess. There we go. It, it'd only be possible if giants started making stuff like that. Then modders would be able to. Okay. Perfect. We got everything in here. We still haven't started up some of the trucks yet, but. We're good for now. Anyways, guys, this will be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you guys are ready for winter, let me know, dude. I'm always, every year, I was always pumped. Around this time, October, I was like, oh, come on, winter, winter, winter. We need some snow. I was checking the forecast, like, every day. But, anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, brothers.